Hey, it's the Crap Brothers here from Wild Kratz. I'm Chris. I'm Martin in blue. We grew up in the wilds of suburban New Jersey <laughs> where there were animals, you know, garter snakes, raccoons, frogs, and we were always going out in the backyard and, you know, back behind the school and like checking out these animals. And uh, it was just, that's when we started really liking animals. I read as many books, saw whatever documentaries there were, but there weren't any documentaries for kids. So I think then, you know, 10 years later when we were in college, we started uh, thinking, hey, maybe we should make some, some wildlife shows for kids, and that's when it began. One of the things we want to make sure kids realize is that no matter where they live, whether it's out in the country, in the middle of a city, there are cool creatures around them. There are ad creature adventures to be had. Even like, if you live in New Jersey. <laughs> Even if you grow up in, in New Jersey, yeah. And, you know, in cities there are peregrine falcons living on skyscrapers. We yeah. did an episode first season about that. So, so you know, no matter where you live, you can go on creature adventures. Uh, we, we did a series called Crap Brothers Be the Creature. And uh, we did that um, basically by going off on one-month expeditions where we would live with the animals and just see what happened, right? And, you know, the story just kind of came out of the animals' lives. So we would be in Africa and Botswana running around with wild dogs trying to keep up with them on the hunt or up in the Arctic living with uh, with uh, brown bears, you know, trying to figure out how they survived and as they got ready f to hibernate. So uh, we've spent a, a, a lot of time, you know, because we're wildlife filmmakers, that's how we all got started. So we spent a lot of time out in the wild living with the animals and learning about them in their, uh, in their environment. And through that, we saw a lot of the hardships that they face. I mean, these African wild dogs that Martin mentioned, we had trouble keeping up with them. I mean, we had an all-terrain, Jeep, you know, where we could go anywhere, you know, on the African savanna. But those dogs would leave us in the dust. I think we got like 32 flat tires over yeah, the course of the month. We were big always patching tires. Yeah. So they, they had better gear just with their legs and their ability to run and their stamina yeah. than we had. They were naturally designed for life in the wild. And you're not? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Where we are now with Wild Kratz, it all began with our interest. We just had a natural passion for an interest in animals. And I think, you know, for kids and parents, really just try to figure out what the interest is, what the passion is, and then explore different things um, along that line. And who knows where you'll end up. We were interested in animals. We ended up producing television shows for kids. There's a, you, you know, you don't know where your, uh, your passion and your interest can take you, but that's where you should go and what you should spend your time doing. And uh, who knows where you'll end up. That's, that's where the adventure is. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're just, yeah. we're just